You think you know me. Like I said before the TV, they were building up to this for way too long. If you piece things together at the end, on near chapter 3, or at, at the end of chapter 3, it was kind of obvious what, was, what happened. And uh, along this entire chapter, the clues were just too big to ignore. So, for me, I saw, saw this coming. This entire chapter, I saw this coming. At the end of chapter 3, I already knew what happened. What I knew what happened. What I thought was going to happen. I already know, knew it. Because the clues were there. Rachel witnessed a murder. Her mom and dad are, were in hell. That's what Danny said. The entire chapter 3 made Rachel... At the end of chapter 3, Rachel, they, were, they were hinting at a big secret. At the literally last thing of chapter 3 where Rachel was panicking. Again, the clues were there. The fact that there's blood everywhere, there's blood here, there was blood in the kitchen, there was blood in the living room. Two bodies stitched together, they sued together. The clues were there. Yes, it's really tragic the way it happened. And I guess this serves as a good warning. To any people who think become who think becoming a parent, who might become a parent, if they want to become a parent, if you have a problem with your significant other, do not fight near your kids because that it, it messes them up badly. Like it really messes them up. Now I'm I guess I'm kind of fortunate that I never witnessed a fight between my parents as a kid as a teenager there were a few times that it happened and last year it it, re, it really blew up last year so can't say what I can't say that I relate but the information I've been given after I've moved away is even more disturbing. That fucking Satan, what the hell are you showing me this for? Is this supposed to tell me something about Ray? Yeah, Ray is absolutely fucked up in the head. The anchor, needle, dread, and the corpse doll in that one room. Rachel Gardner. Ray. So this is her floor, huh? Which means the killer here is... Guess I'll get going. If that eyeball freak still doesn't let me into that room, then he's got another thing coming. Oh, for other reason, the traps are no longer there. Okay. It's open. It's the living room. There's flowers there. Ray is here. Wait, Ray is here. Yeah, that leads to the kitchen. This is the living room. That leads 
that oh this is supposed to leave uh, lead outside there's still the bible hey wake up you've had enough shut eye get your ass up Zack I'm so sorry and I wasn't sure that I would I wouldn't track you down too and I was so sure that I wouldn't track you down too. Shut up. None of, none of that shit matters. Hmm? Listen to me. Ray, I need you to answer me. The people who come to this floor. Are you gonna kill them? Hey. Explain yourself. Can you stop getting raw with Rachel's sack? Watch out. Back off. What a simpleton you are. It's repulsive. Dr. Danny. Why, good morning, Rachel. I took the liberty of bringing Zack up to speed on everything about you. Oh my. Oh, those turvy peepers. It feels as if they were... It feels as if they could en envel envelope me at any moment. What the hell's going on? Am I gonna be killed by you since I'm on your floor? No, never. Now, Rachel, you mustn't lie. Don't misunderstand me. I don't wish to put a bullet through your head. Hey. Silence! You will give me a rest. Didn't I say I'm as desperate as you? I must make her understand that. Besides, a low-life monster like yourself must be dying to know as well. Rachel killed her parents in seeking her perfect family. I was assigned to be her therapist. It was then I insisted she be made into a resident here on this floor. Well, although the reverend didn't seem very taken with the idea, I was convinced everything would be fine. Most of all, her peepers. I longed to protect her eternal solitude at any cost. But her spirit was shattered. Before I knew it, she was reading a Bible placed in this room. Right? Naturally, the Reverend wouldn't allow me to assign someone like her as a floor guardian. Tell me, Rachel, how could you how could a calm and collected person like yourself become so corrupted? I wanted to achieve my own ideal. I couldn't accept anything other than that. But the Bible told me that it was me who would not be accepted. Haha! <laughs> and so, you tried to die, assuming the guise of someone normal, pure and innocent. And Zack, Rachel was convinced she would get away with, get away with it with your help. A fool who swore an oath to God, and to top it all off, became the very thing for her that you swore to. But Rachel, you already knew, didn't you? No matter how much one reads the Bible or realizes one's mistakes, one can never deceive one's true self. Somewhere in that heart of yours, you secretly wished you to own Zack, did you not? Oh, what, how wonderfully horrible. Well, Zack, you've come to a crossroads. Die here, or climb down to your exalted altar as raised god, and leave here alone. What shall it be? The truth can no longer be undone. Rachel can no longer return 
I must stay here. She has effectively deceived you. Ray, is what Danny is saying true? Yes. That's right, Zack. So you lied to me, huh? I did, Zack. Zack, will you still be my god? You wanna entrust yourself to me? I'm... I'm not some god of yours. Wonderful! Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, Rachel, you've returned to your usual self now. Tell me what is, what is it, what it is you desire. I'll make it come true. Oh, and Zack, feel free to run along. Selfish bastard! Don't tell me what to do. Wait. Rachel? I've committed a foul sin. That, that much I know. But it was no use. Just knowing it was a sin. Though why that's bad, I just can't figure out. Is it futile, Zack? Am I wrong? Are you not my god, Zack? But I need one, Zack. I need a card. Ray. Oh, Rachel, that's the very instant your peepers are the most beautiful. Zack, I'm afraid I'll have to retract my offer to let you go. Now my top priority is her wishes. Well, your only option now is to go after her, even if it could mean your death, Zack. To fulfill her wishes, I shall become her ser servant. Ah, shit, wait! Huh? Don't lock the door. Fine, I'll go through the kitchen then. Where the hell is she? Where the hell did she go? Wait, th there's water back here again. Hey, what's this doing filled up, filled up with water again? Don't tell me that she isn't there. Yeah! Ouch! For fuck's sake! I had a feeling this wouldn't work on you, Zack. That bitch! Thought I told her to wait up. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Playing with fire, huh? I'll head you off and get you. Wait, but that's exactly what she wanted, right? Hey, cut it out. Three, two, oh no, one. You should have seen that coming. 
Like seriously, you just should have seen it coming. Shit. Oh wow, this won't work either. But you really do hate fire, don't you? I'll fuck you up. Did she run away to her room? That's exactly what she did. Achoo, you pulled her out of nowhere! What? Hey, wait, what the fuck? Which is... That's why they got rid of that second room. What the hell? That was... That was too much crazy for me. Cut it out, don't fuck with me. Remember that, you idiot. And you have a gun here and you're going to shoot me. Exactly where you shot your father. Same place, same situation. Hey. How long are you planning to keep, keep running? Are you gonna shoot me? Will that kill you? If you're gonna kill me, then how about I kill you first? It... Can't be that way now. Zack, it was useless from the very... Very start, I, I guess. You kind of messed up the dialogue box there. Even now, my soul's telling me that I gotta die. I gotta be killed. A god would never desire an ab abomination like me. He has no use for me. And it was you, Zack, who war swore to God that you would kill me. But once I he learned that God doesn't exist, I made you my god, Zack. Ray. Listen to me. How many times... How many times do I gotta say this? I ain't your god. Yes, I'm aware, Zack. What are you aware of? My life's been exposed. My god is dead. Hey, wait. Damn it. She won't listen to what I gotta say, and she just says her piece and runs off on her own. Why do people think shit sit up like like this up? It's open. I'm aware. We're back here again. Are you just gonna kill yourself? Is that the thing that's going to happen? All you ever do is run away. Say something. Can't you take a hint that she's... No. Oh. Can't you take a hint that she has nothing left to say to you? That was unlike you, leaving yourself open like that. You bastard. Don't move or you're dead. Rachel, what took you so long? That's not like you. Hmm... Well, a monster like that would probably slow anybody down. But no need to worry now. Even he can't survive a shot to the head. You bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry, doctor. Rachel?
Rachel. Dr. Danny. Sex mind to kill. Ah. Is that so? That makes sense. Besides, I'm too tired to go on. I wanna finish this. I'm sorry, Dr. Danny. I can't live with you. No. 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 I've already create, killed and created a family. So I won't be forgiven anyway. It's over. I don't care if it if it's not one my I don't care even if it's not my god. It doesn't matter anymore. But Zack Lastly I want to make you mine by my own hands. If you want it so bad then do it. You want to die. You want me dead. You want to end this. Which is it? None of what you're saying makes a bit of sense. I know that. Well then quit saying such stupid shit. I don't mean to. I'm dead serious. I'm serious about killing you. Is that so? Killed by a pin sign squirt like you? Pfft, not happening. No, no, Zack. If you want it to end so bad, then I'll end it. No, no, no! What's the problem? I'd be granting your wish. Don't kill me. Not like this. Don't kill me. Huh? It's just... It's just that you are no longer... My god. I no longer have any need for my own god. My god is dead. Oh, that's right. I killed your god. I killed it. But I'm not dead. Do you catch my drift? Who said they'd kill you? My god. No! Me. It was me. Not someone's el not someone else or your god. I will kill you. But I that can't be. I'm defiled. Who do you think you're talking to here? I'm a killer. Killing's my passion. I've killed more than I can count. But I'd never run around all psychotically like you and Danny. I don't I don't shit about your barons or god. But there's no reason to go around making them excuses for your actions. I for one, set my heart on what I want and act on my own vi violation, volition, volition, whatever. If I'm my own man, then you're, you are your own woman, right? Am I wrong? I'm my own woman? Atta girl. If you are your own woman, then crap life by the balls. Take control, damn it. 
Uh, uh. Hey, Ray. You see me? Who I am? Zack. Yep. And not some god, right? Yeah. You were Zack all along. Hey. You're too damn serious for a crazy bitch. <laughs> hey, Ray. Look who's in front of you. Me. If you if you can craft that concept, Ray, desire me. If you want to die, swear an oath for me to kill you. Swear it for yourself. And swear it for me. Okay. Okay. I swear it. I swear to you, Zack. And I swear right back at you. <laughs> 